I am Anil Kumar and now let us try to understand order of operation where fractions are involved. Part is half plus 2 over 3 divided by 1 over 3 plus 3 over 4. And then we have 2 over 3 times 3 over 5 take away 3 over 4 divided by 5 over 6. So let's try to solve them. Now in order of operation you need to do division first, right? So we'll do 2 over 3 divided by 1 over 3 before doing the addition of half and 3 by 4. Well, we can always rearrange them, right? So let's rearrange like half. Okay, uh, what we will do instead is write division as multiplication, perform the multiple operation right in the center, and then add all of them. So we have half plus we can write this as 2 over 3 times 3 over 1 plus 3 over 4, correct? So in the first step, we wrote division as multiplication and perform the division operation first. Now, 2 times 3 divided by 3 is number 2, or you can say 3 divided by 3 is 1. So we are left with 2. So we have half plus 2, or you can write 2 over 1, plus 3 over 4. Now to add these fractions, we should have common denominator. Here the common denominator is 4, right? So we get 4. To make half as 4, we need to multiply it by 2 in both numerator and denominator. So numerator becomes 2, denominator is 4. Plus, here to make it 4, I have to multiply by 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Now, denominator is already 4, so it's just the number 3. So we get 2 plus 8, 10 plus 3, 13 over 4 as our answer. Let us try to do the next question. Here we have multiplication operation, subtraction and division. So bad mass, we have to do multiplication and division first. So what we can do is, we can write this as 2 over 3 times 3 over 5, take away 3 over 4 times. So I'm writing division as multiplication. We get 6 over 5. So whenever you want to convert division to multiplication, you need to multiply by its reciprocal. So it becomes 6 over 5. Now, let us perform the two multiplication operations. So here, 3 and 3 cancel, we get 2 over 5. So we have 2 over 5 take away. Here we can simplify a bit. We can divide these by 2, 2 times 2 and 2 times 3. So that leads to 9 divided by 10. Now to take away 9 divided by 10 from 2 over 5, we need a common denominator. The common denominator can be 10, which you will get by multiplying the first terms by 2, right? So, you have 4 over 10 take away 9 over 10. Now, what is 4 minus 9? 4 minus 9 is negative 5. You get negative 5 over 10. This can be simplified. You can divide both by 5, giving us minus 1 over 2. So, minus half is the answer for part B. Thank you.